Molly Lily Crafts and today what have I got for you? Okay, so now, um, ages ago, um, Fiona of um, Jenny's Crafts Boutique um, sent me, this is out of her own stash and it's not for me per se, um, I'm just going to zoom out a bit. Um, where's my zoom button? Uh, yeah, she sent me this and because uh, she asked me for when she uh, was doing her bedroom to make her a wall hanging using um, some bits from which she sent me and also this photograph which actually is one of my favourite photographs. Um, and you can get it from uh, Pinterest if you go to my um, Pinterest Lolly Dolly Crafts, uh, I think that's what it is, um, it's, and go to uh, Vintage Ladies. Um, you'll find her in there but you just look on vintage ladies in general on Pinterest and you'll find her it's not a you know uh, so anyway so she sent me this okay and she also sent me these goodies um, from her wall hanging now I will show you to them some of them are not available in her shop um, some of them are repeat stuff that she um, sells in her shop um, but this is from Fiona's personal stash, so I don't know, yay or nay, whether she's got it in stock. Some of it I know she has, um, but some of it I said is is from her own personal stash. Now I know this is from um, Lucy f um, from Trezors, and this is the last little piece that Fiona <laughs> had left. Um, so I'm going to use this on Fiona's wall hanging for her. Okay. Um, this, um, I know Fiona does sell in her shop. I don't know whether she's got any at the moment, but um, just keep checking back all the time. Um, and then there's this. I know Fiona sells this. Again, I'm not sure whether she's got any in her shop, but uh, we all have to have a little bit of dangle on our wall hangings, don't we, girls? Um, there's some of this, chore trim. Okay. And... And then we've got some little uh, leaf. Um, this was a trim, but um, I'm going to uh, cut it up. Um, actually, it looks like little baby feet as well. Look, little feet. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to use it as leaves. And then these trims here, I know Fiona has in the shop on and off all the time. So there's this one. Brilliant for flowers. Okay. There's that one. Then there's this one, absolutely stunning. Okay, beautiful. And this is all in cream. And then there's this one. Okay, again, great for flowers. Um, and then this, um, Fiona never sold in the shop. Um, not that I'm aware of. I don't think she ever sold this in the shop, but she did get it. Um, and. Uh, this is from her own personal stash, and it's a, it's like um, a wool fabric, so it's a it's it's not horrendously stretchy. I think it's yeah, it's more stretchy that way than it is that that way. It's not stretchy, but that way it is. Um, but actually, um, when Fiona showed me sort of hers, she did manage to get um, me um, a little bit of this as well. So I've got I'm holding mine at the moment. So I'm going to use this on the. Um, the wall hanging that I'm going to make Fiona. Now, oh, and also she sent me uh, two of these sticks, one for the top and bottom, to do the wall hanging, which I'm going to cover with some um, sort of either lace or ribbon. I haven't decided yet. Okay, so now um, for the base of my um, wall hanging, what I'm going to use now, you can either use uh, two pieces of uh, fabric. Um, or you can use um, doilies. Like here's a here's a piece of uh, doily. Um, you can fold it over, um, depending on how thick you want. Your, uh, it's better to have your um, uh, wall hanging not heavy, but you know substantial because you're going to be putting things on this. Okay, so yeah, so we're going to be doing. Uh, so you can either use something like this. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to use. Or you can use um, felt in between, like you know the felt 
uh, A4 size pieces of felt. It doesn't really matter what colour, um, not too dark I wouldn't, um, unless you've got a, you're covering it with something that's not going to show the colour through. I'm going to do um, um, around about an A4 size um, and now I've doubled this over, okay, so this will give me good um, coverage and then what I'm going to do I'm going to sit this inside. I'm going to try to keep it as close to the edge as possible because um, I, I don't want to, um, but not, you know. And then um, does it really? I'm going to put, yeah, I'm going to put it quite close to the edge and down here and that way any bit I don't want to waste any in that way and I'm going to fold it over and then I'm just going to glue uh, don't worry that that's not going to be even and there's a little bit of a uh, yellow tulle in there but uh, but uh, it's fine because it's going to be covered up okay so so now what we've got here is a very um, substantial uh, uh, base for our um, wall hanging and then I've still got this little bit left over that I can uh, either make a flower with or do something with so what I'm going to do before I um, I'm going to actually before I do anything I'm going to glue these two pieces together and um, first of all not I'm not too worried it doesn't have to be like all the way down I just want to uh, just intermittently I'm just going to do it just so it stays together and you know, straight. Look, look at this my disgusting glue gun. I, I have got to get a new glue gun. It is absolutely manky. I still haven't found the one that I, I bought. But this is actually a really good glue gun. Um, I, I haven't got a clue who it's made by or even where I got it from. But anyway, hey ho. Yeah, so I'm just, like I said, just intermittently, just adding a little bit of hot glue, just to... Now, if you so wished, and um, I do sometimes, I'm not saying I don't, but you could uh, also sew this um, if you wanted to. Uh, normally, my, if I'm doing a fabric book, or the basis for my fabric book, I um, normally sew them. Oh, what's happened here? There we go. I'm just going to just glue this. I'm not too worried about that. I was me just saying this was good glue glue and now it's decided not to, to stop working um, because it's going to be covered up with all lovely lace bits and bobs and so now I'm going to trim this off. These scissors I got from Fiona's shop. So yes Fiona my parcel arrived today. <laughs> normally speak to her on Skype not every day but um, you know often or, um, but she's seen her granddaughter today so oh I'll show you my new pattern on my nails as well in a minute that's for anybody who's interested. Anybody who's not interested, move along. So look, yes, I've done nice black and shiny and then they've got this like paisley white pattern on them. Very cute. Okay, so there we go. 
enough of my vanity rubbish. Well, it's not rubbish, not rubbish to me anyway. But hey -ho. So, so now we've got a nice space for our wall hanging. And what's really lovely about this is it's got it's got sequins in it, so it's glittery. So, okay. I'm not too worried about it being right. So, um, I'm not going to add that just yet. What I want to do is I want to add this trim around the outside of my um, the wood the, the wall hanging. Okay. See, taking shape already. Oh, look at that sparkle, sparkly. Okay, now um, I'm. I'll sort this side out uh, in a minute. What I want to do is I'm going to. Uh, that's probably yes, that one's too small. I'm going to trim this down a bit actually. Uh, Too much of the main. Oh, well, I don't want to take the main picture away, but um, I just want to take off this white bit. Um, do you know what? I'm crap at uh, cutting in straight lines. I could have done it with my uh, trimmer actually. Okay, that's still not flipping straight, but that, that'll do. I'm going to cover it up anyway. Okay, so. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start building up uh, oh, look, can't see because that's in the way. Look, that's um, one of the masks I got from Fiona's shop. I'm going to decorate it. It, it. Actually, it's really pretty. It doesn't need to be decorated if you didn't want to. But yes, I'm going to decorate that. So that was stuck in the way. Um, okay, so I'm going to uh, just... Just work out what I want to go where. So I want that to go there like that. Okay. Um, I will uh, put it more in picture when I'm actually doing that. I'm just trying to uh, plan out a little bit. Uh, oops. What I'm going to do, so I'm, going, yes, I'm going to put that there, I think. Um, I'm going to use the this thinner piece of uh, lace trim, I think, to go around the image. That's quite nice. And I've got some of my own uh, appliques here as well. And then we also got some um, of this gorgeous Viennese lace as well. I think I'm gonna, I might try and uh, um, I might, actually, I might add that down that side and then put it on the other side as well. Yes, I think I'll do that. So this one's going to go, I want one to go this side. So if I cut that. And the same for this side. That's quite pretty. Uh, I'll just add my uh, 
Taylor come in and say to me, um, why can't you see the dad? But he's got school tomorrow. So this is in the evening for me. So I said, I can't sleep. Like, what do they what do they think you can do? I said to him, What do you expect me to do? Do you think I've got a magic post sleeping potion or something that I can uh, you know, that helps you go to sleep? <laughs> I said to him, getting out of bed and stimulating yourself is just gonna make you feel more awake. Oh, okay, so this also um, Fiona gets these in her shop all the time. So that's going to go, I think, going to go there. And then, um, is that thinner? No, it's the same as that one. So again, that's more of that lace. So um, I think I might make some, ooh, some of that as well. Might make some flowers out of that. Look, beautiful. And then some of this. I think Fiona have put this in for me to make her some flowers and then some really soft tulle. So I think that's what I'll do as well. But if I do the basics and then I might um, I might film some flowers or I might make them off camera, I don't know. Right, so I'm just going to, I'm literally just playing. Just, and while I'm playing I'm filming it. Um. It was quite funny. Somebody left a comment on one of my older videos. In fact, I've had not loads, but um, but um, I, it sometimes it uh, makes me laugh when I get what, what I call backhanded compliments, like um, compliments that are oh, you know, on the on the um, something like on the lines of um, nothing in in specific. And uh, I'm, I'm talking. The odd time I've had it, um, you know, when someone will say to me, "Oh, that's really nice," but, um, oh, you know, so that's why I call a backhanded compliment. Um, so yes, uh, and then somebody put a comment on one of my videos that was one of my first ones actually before, well, not one of my first ones, but one of the uh, ones that went further back, um, saying. Um, because I think my mobile phone had rung a couple of times and I'd answered it and at that time I didn't really know how to edit or speed up or anything like that so and I just I put it up as is and they didn't they didn't say anything nice all they said was the uh, the phone keeping the phone kept uh, or the phone ringing was very um, off-putting and I, and I just thought if it was that off-putting go somewhere else <laughs> do you know what I mean I wouldn't dream of putting anything like that on anyone's uh my channel I just just I don't know some people make me laugh right okay so I've got I just got the sort of pretty much layout wise how I'm going to go so I'm going to zoom in a bit so you guys can see a bit better what I'm going to do okay make sure you can see oh just moving out of the way I haven't cleared up from when I did the uh, the little mini canvas I did, so yeah, which was very naughty of me. But hey, ho, if I move these bottles out of the way, and that way I can move it. There we go. No, you can see better. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to add this. Oh, actually, I'll. Want this a bit lower down? Oops, oh, but yeah, be careful, don't burn yourself up because it's uh, comes through the lace. Yeah, so anyway, it's a bit very funny backhanded compliments. I suppose, you know, if, if there's anything on my, I don't mind, I'm not saying someone shouldn't give, um, you know, criticism or, or, you know, anything like that. I'm not saying that at all, but I just think there's ways of doing it. Like, you know, I'm, I welcome, you know, any, um, 
like I've had uh, someone say to me, I think about well, like the 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 uh, the, the um, texture paste, you know, you know, suggestions of how they've done it or whatever. That's you know perfectly fine because that's to, it was done in a friendly, you know. I don't have a problem with that, but um, you know, but when it's sort of like you know done mean spiritedly or you know. Don't chuck anything that's like this because you can use them. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I'm going to and add my doily. Now this is not a vintage doily actually. It's one of the ones that uh, Fiona uh, sent to me. She sells now. She's got them in our shop at the moment. These, so yeah, but they're really nice. I'm going to try and uh, Fiona likes uh, cream and um, pink, so I'm going to try and uh, like a soft pink. So I'm going to see whether I can find some, uh, you know, some nice soft pink. Um, touches to go with the image. So. Oh, so I'm going to do because this is actually it's plastic on one side and it's a fabric one. But I'm just going to peel the uh, the plastic off. straight and uh, evenish. Okay, so I think that's about right. And I'm just going to give you this dark boring bits of, uh, you know, like the watching the paint dry stuff. <laughs> I do try. Okay, so. line um, put some trim to spare with me. Right, so I'm going to add this and it's like a little uh, this is from my stash this one and it will just uh, just tidies up the uh, edge of that yellow It, but let's just watch this space so I can say uh, I've been asked to do something really exciting so yeah that'd be quite nice so there we go that's what we've got so far okay so so what I'm going to do now I'm going to take this lovely piece here I'm not going to add it right down here because I don't want to hide this too much so I'm going to add it just a bit higher so that uh, we can still see the dangle but also, um, you know, this is quite open right now, this is coming off so I'm going to push these pearls back on, it's only where it's just where it's been cut, oh, 
and then just glue it to the back. I've got a little bit of this, I bought some of this um, from Lucy's shop as well when I was on the design team and it's uh, beautiful. Lovely trim. <coughs> so sorry, excuse me. Oh, itchy nose. Okay, let's just pull that side and make sure that side's just glued as well. So yeah, I'm going to add that to about there. Right, just make sure I get this so it's not sticking down. I keep hearing the patter pattering of tiny little feet. That's coming. I say tiny. It's not tiny. My twelve-year-old. He's going to find himself grounded tomorrow. So pretty. Beautiful. Oh dear me, I've got to sneeze again. I can feel it in my waters. Around and I think I might add that to match the sides on the inside, that little pearly. Yeah. Go away. Okay. Not sure. Oh, dear me. We'll see. Got the sneezes. Use that one. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Have I got enough though to go all the way around? So that, uh, yes, I think I have. Yes. Beautiful, stunning. There we go. Look at that beautifully framed pearl image. So now then, what have we got? Um, do that nice bling there. I might add that there with the. Oh, that's quite nice. I think I might. I'm going to add that there. Make sure I get the right sides, left and right.
excuse me, snuffling. So don't ever get rid of anything that's like this because I'm going to add this underneath my just here. It's all a case of just, you know, playing about and trying a bit here and trying a bit there and seeing if okay, so that's quite cool. This is a very, very sort of vintage hint of pink because I wouldn't add anything that was uh, like bright, bright pink or anything. Um, but it's just uh, goes nice with the uh, with the image. Very nice. Okay. Oh, I've got sniffles. I've actually got some of these uh, flowers that I made a while back. Uh, I'm not as good as a uh, female. Is at flower making, but I've got this. Uh, this is like um, materials. What do they call it? Like crushed satin, ribbon rose flower, and then this beautiful like organza. And then I made this one as well. So I'm going to pair um, that one, this one with that one. I think, and then put. Oh no. That one with that one, and then put this one down there. I think. Oh, that 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 that. Or I might even do it like that. Oh yes. 
said, let's go there. Okay. Oh, I've got to move so much. So this one I'm going to add first. Give this really pretty one. I'm going to add this side. Okay. And then this one I'm going to add here. Like so. Oops. Where we go. Beautiful. Wonderful. I'm out, but I am going to use this one for the top. So to start off with, I'm going to wrap this. to do to cover it. Let's trim off that bit. Okay, so so I've just glued it at the end and then what I'm going to do at an angle I'm just going to start to work my way down. Now, I'm not going to glue it at every um, time I turn it but every now and again I will just add some glue so I've covered my stick with satin ribbon. Um, I'm going to tidy up the back first actually, having said that, before I do anything else. I'm going to take um, oh, this, this one. Oh, is it this one? This one. Take this one and I'm going to add it to the back of here just to tidy up the back. There we go, there we go. Okay, so we're looking good folks. We're getting there. Beautiful. Lovely. So what we want to do, I think, is um I want to get some Oh, I'm going to add some of this. This is this, um, you know, this stuff left. Fiona sells this stuff. Um, of like you know finding bits and just you know adding it adding it in always um best place to uh, I find anyway to find little bits and bobs and um, to add to fabric books especially or um wall hangings is um garage sales or car boots and that because 
you don't if you obviously you can't you know not not everybody has the money to spend on you know loads and loads of laces and stuff like that so the best thing to do is to go along and, and look at what the shirts that might have a bit of lace on the cuff that you can get 50p or you know a bit of lace on the colour or some fabric cover, covered buttons that sort of stuff a brilliant way to get uh, you know um, trimmings for uh, you know a fabric book right, I'm just I think that will do as far as the pink goes. I don't want to overload it. And I'm just gonna normally do with this I start whoop, and glue um, underneath um, a flower so I'll add a bit of glue there and then and I'll glue one of the bigger beads under there okay and then I it's I'll use the bigger beads to just Blue. Every now and again, just like so. Worry too much about any glue strings you got on there because you can use your heat gun. So I'm just uh, just cutting that off and then just adding that. Beautiful. Okay. Oof, I don't just hate crinkly paper. Okay. Well, I lost me that one. Oh, there we go. Right, so I'm. Oh, I'll do it the right end. Okay, so if I cut this in half. And I'm going to cover it over with um, a, a flower or something anyway, so you're not going to see it. Okay. Let's 
same this side. helps make it more secure and also helps to uh, tidy up that's my last I've got three left of these and three left look okay so that will go Think. Okay. Right. Do I need to add anything else? Um. I think possibly I'm going to add a bit more of this uh, um, wedding applique stuff up here. I think just one of the little flowers. It's not a flower. Thinks just to fill in any gaps. So, yes. I think I'm going to go and have a look for my buttons. Alright, okay, so what I've just done is on here. And I'm going to add some more um, dangles to it, but I've just added a, a chain with some bling, and uh, this is a one of those, um, what do they call them? The go on the Indian ladies has is it bindi? I could be wrong, but anyway, it's a bit of a bit of bling. So I will add some more to that, some pearls. Okay, there so go. If I can, oh, my camera's a bit wonky. Um, that is my, and I will take some pictures of it as well. Fabric wall hanging. For Fiona. So I hope you like it and I hope this hasn't been too long for you guys and um, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.